This is an example I collected from um, this pump information from Amazon.com. So if you click on that uh, link uh, that I posted uh, here, it says this came from the Amazon.com. So if you click on that link, you will see this uh, sump pump. Basically, it pumps all the water accumulated under your house and keep the underneath the house dry so it doesn't get flood. The water doesn't get um, accumulated and accumulated and then eventually it's going to flood. So mostly most houses use um, sump pump. So the performance criteria is given with the sump pump. So this one says um, it's a Wayne company pump and it's a half horsepower sump pump. It delivers about... Uh, 3900 gallon per hour at 5 feet ahead and then 31.50 gallon per hour 10 feet head so i use that 3150 at 10 feet head you could use any of these uh, numbers to analyze this what's going on with this so the first thing says is this statement true let's calculate the uh, power based on the information they have provided so if we want to calculate the power of this pump the power output According to their number, it's going to be P, if P is in PSI, and then Q is in gallon per minute. Then if we divide this by 1714, then this number will eventually come in horsepower. Check the other video how this equation comes. Now, for this uh, pressure, it says it develops at 10 feet. Basically, it's a fresh water. So I'm guessing is the feet of water. Um, if they use mercury, that's going to be different situation, but which is not, which is 13 times more. Uh, let's see. So that's uh, PSI times um, the flow rate, which is 52.52 gallon per minute, divided by 1714, which is equal to 0.1326 horsepower. It's definitely not mercury because mercury is 10 times heavier as this power would be then 10 times this is 1.3 one horsepower but this pump is only half horsepower so that's the horsepower is developing but it claims that it's a half horsepower pump so i don't know that pump has this low efficiency anyway assume the sum pump statement is true calculate the horsepower loss so loss is gonna be it says that half horsepower pump minus it produces this many horsepower which is 0.5 minus 0.1326 which is 0.367 horsepower so mostly everything is lost most of the sump pump has just one check valve and just maybe 10 feet of pipe couple of elbows which has probably no loss compared to the power so almost negligible loss in there the only loss you have is the 10 feet height now then it says find the efficiency we calculate the efficiency of this pump uh, it's going to be the output power divided by the total it says so that's going to be about only 26.54 percent i don't know what's going on with this pump but that's what i got according to their information Next question is asking if an electric motor is providing half horsepower to the pump, some pump, maybe they are stating their electric motor problem. Let's calculate that. What is the torque output by the electric motor at 100,000 um, RPM? So basically, most of these pumps are driven by electric motor. So electric motor that is connected to this pump. So this thing asking you, what's the torque here? So the uh, torque output by the electric motor. So what's that? So if it's in half horsepower, we can just write 0.5 horsepower. We know that equation, torque times rotation divided by uh, 5250. So then this, this torque will come in pound feet. So if you input this N equal to 1000, RPM and then solve for T, then you get 2.625 pound foot of torque by the electric motor. Now, it says uh, if this sump pump, next question, delivers maximum, this also, this information also comes from that same 
wave side link you can check that too if the sump pump delivers a maximum of 42 gallons per hour at efficiency of 90 percent what is the theoretical displacement of the pump in cubic inches so we want to find out that we know that q theoretical is the volumetric displacement or displacement times the uh, revolution displacement usually is per rev and rpm is in per minute minute per rev so if you do 4200 uh, gallon per hour which is the delivery and then is equal to i'm just leaving some space so that we in case we have to convert the units into some relevant one and then then vd which is typically is in inch cube per rev but the rev is kind of silent uh, people just simply say inch cube that replies that every revolution how many inch cube of um, fluid is delivered so then we have this 2000 rpm rev per minute now we got minute on this side and hour on this side so we have to convert one of these i know that one hour is 60 minutes so that is done conversion now i have to convert this gallons because in gallon is a big unit that's not appropriate for displacement so we know that one gallon is 231 inch cube so all units are taken care of so vd volumetric displacement is eight approximately eight inch cube per rib however typically you this rib is kind of sil silent so you just simply right eight inch cube so that's the volumetric displacement of the pump